Hiya, um, I just wanted to do a video for you all on parallel compression um, or sometimes called New York compression. Um, it's just a way of giving um, your project a little bit more life and energy um, for house, uh, minimal house. This is nice um, if you use it subtly. I think for our kind of music, um, subtlety is the key. Techno and tech house, you can push things a little bit more. Um, but in this case, uh, for this example, I'll show you how I would use it. Okay, so parallel compression is essentially compressing the signal and then bringing in that wet signal into the project um, to, to sort of the level that you're happy with. Um, like I say, you do want to be subtle with it. So the drums, this is just a basic loop I've got going on. Well, it's one of my projects. I've just started actually. Okay, so this is the drums, just by themselves. Now you want to create a return track down here. You want to add some compression. Um, I'd just use the Ableton compressor if you're on Ableton. Um, if you use um, some plugins that are quite CPU hungry, it can cause a slight delay to the return track, um, which will cause some kind of phase, phasing problems. Um, so just a very simple compressor. Um, the Ableton one's fine for this. Now you want to. This here is the um, the part where you're dialing in the signal into the return. So let's dial it all the way to the top. Let's mute the. Sorry, not mute. Let's solo the return track so we can hear it on its own. Now you want to be very extreme with parallel compression because the whole idea is to create this energy that we want to bring in in um, slowly. So there's already some nice hum coming through there, almost like it's been passed through some hardware compression or preamps. Um, now, let's bring the volume all the way down so we can't hear it. Now let's listen to the whole project. Uh, just the drums actually. Okay, so now that signal there that we've just created, that, that effect, we wanna bring that in slowly until we're happy with the effect. I forgot to mention actually, sorry, um, I would filter out the bottom. If you have too much of the bottom end when you're parallel compressing, you can start to sound quite muddy and a bit messy. Um, so I'll filter, just use the top, it's nice anyway having the top because that's where all the presence is. Um, there's a bit of a knocky sound there, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, cool. Right, so let's just drop it back down again. Right, so this is the dry signal. Let's bring it up, let's bring the wet up. Okay, so that sounds nice to me. Let's listen to it without. Yeah, like that sounds to me so much better. Before, sounds quite flat. Now with it on, it's a lot of presence in the top. It's nice. So that's basically parallel compression on the drums. Now you can do the same thing to other instruments. Um, I'd recommend creating a new return track because you're going to want to set some different levels on your compression and your EQ. So for for example on do it on this. This is like a choppy MIDI part that I've added in. Okay, let's add some compression. Let's listen, listen to it by itself actually. Oops, one, one. Let's bring up the signal. Um now we're on return B, so it'll be this one. Okay, so I do want to use the filter and take out some of this. I actually really like that. That kind of... It's not like a snare, it's almost like a snare uh, rattle. So, right, I'm going to keep it like that. 
and I'm going to bring the signal down. And I'm going to work it up slowly. Sorry, solo that part. I like that, that sounds nice. Now, like with any dry wet adjustments, parts are gonna get a bit louder. So if you do start bringing that up quite a lot, you might wanna compensate and just bring down the, the level of the track just a tiny bit. But that's not really gaining it up too much. Um, another little thing you can do on these return tracks is add a little bit of stereo widening. Um, I have a plugin that I use on everything PSP pseudo stereo and this is incredible because it's not your typical widening plugin it doesn't just throw everything to the side it sort of brings it out of the mix like 3D so on that particular MIDI track actually I'll do it on the drums I'll do it on the drums okay so this is the widening plugin and if I just do this, that sort of brought it out, brought it to the front. It's like almost in between the monitor and your face. It's just brought it out from the mix and it's widened it as well. I can widen it more if I need to. It's a little bit too much for what I want. I just like it to be in the front. I don't like to widen things too much with house music. You like to keep things down the middle. When things are down the middle, it's tighter. Bass is a lot neater. Translates a lot better in the club as well. Okay, so I'll take off the drum return. Like I say, that is that has got so much more energy now, so much more presence. I'm gonna take it down a little bit. It's a little bit much. A couple of dB. So that's it. Yeah, that's it, you get the idea. Um, if you do have any questions, just drop us a message on the Discord app and I'll, um, I'll help you out. But yeah, I hope you got that. Cheers, see you soon, bye.